The latest Aerospace with FlightOps OS receives Canada's first certificate for BVLOS flight, no visual observers. By DroneLife staff writer Ian M. Crosby. The latest Aerospace, using the FlightOps OS, has become the first company in Canada to obtain a Beyond Visual Line of Sight, BVLOS, Special Flight Operations Certificate, SFOC, authorizing the operation of drones without the need for a visual observer. Awarded by Transport Canada, the certificate will enable the latest aerospace to scale its unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, operations and begin BVLOS training in several locations throughout the country. This achievement has broken through a major barrier and opened the door to commercial opportunities that have only been dreamed about but until today have been just out of reach, said Valeda's CEO Glenn Lynch. Remote operations beyond visual line of sight are now a reality for Valetis. Commercialization begins now. The FlightOps OS is a BVLOS, multi-drone operating system providing any drone operation with scalability through high levels of autonomy and cloud connectivity. Integration of the operating system allows drone service providers to scale their operations and simultaneously manage multiple drones in a shared airspace worldwide. The latest aerospace using our software to become the first company certified to operate drones beyond visual line of sight in Canada is a proud achievement, said FlightOps CEO Shay Levy. This landmark accomplishment reiterates that the FlightOps OS enables air mobility and scalability for businesses and their respective drone operations. Our software transforms previously unthinkable opportunities into real possibilities that will lead to the commercialization of drone deliveries worldwide. This is the latest in a series of major announcements from FlightOps this summer, following a commercial agreement with drone services provider DroneUp in June and an announcement in July that it was using its software to deliver medical laboratory tests by drone between two hospitals in Israel. Subscribe to DroneLife for more commercial drone news.